Hello and welcome back and that is right today I want to make a very quick video on exactly how to set up tail scale on your Ugreen NAS. Now whether it's because you're already running a tail scale network for all of your devices mobile and desktop alike or you don't really want to use Ugreen's own remote access services when setting up your device for the first time. Whatever your reasoning that you you know maybe don't want to use theirs and go for tail scale this may become helpful to you. Now you can do this installation very, very quickly, if arguably a little bit more complexly, using Docker. We're not going to be using Docker in today's installation. What we're gonna be doing is using SSH or terminal command. So make sure all your backups are in place because you shouldn't really be doing this if you don't know what you're doing, but nonetheless, this is a fairly straightforward procedure. Now, if you don't already have it, make sure you've got Tailscale installed on at least one device. I've got it installed on this PC that you're looking at right now. And as you can see, I've already connected it up. So again, if you don't know how to do that, Tailscale's own website will guide you through. It's a very straightforward installation. Install, download, free sign up. It's largely free for single or small groups of users and you're good to go. The other thing you're gonna need is something called Putty. Download Putty, a small application, and once you've got that good to go, this is when we're gonna start dicking around with terminal commands. So go back into your Ugreen NAS system and then from there go into the control panel and from there go into terminal. From terminal, you need to make sure SSH is turned on. It will probably be off for security reasons. We need to briefly turn it on. And from here, you're gonna to need to know 22 and your IP, this number at the top of the screen. Once it's turned on, click apply. From there, open up Putty and enter the IP of the system you're accessing right now with that IP. Double check that the port number is correct, that 22 from earlier, and then click open. From here, you need to enter the password of your device. Make sure it is an, a fairly super user account, an admin or whatever, and then enter your password. Don't be alarmed, your password won't appear in the screen. So the first command we need is to pull uh, Tailscale from on, uh, from on high on the internet onto this device. And we need this command right here. Enter that command, right clicking into Putty, and then click enter. It will then do a pseudo check, which is when it's checking your admin status and that you're okay to do this. Enter your password once again, then click enter. It will now start pulling the tail scale install and all of the extra parts onto your system. It's normally a little longer than this, but because I've already installed it, it's done it a lot quicker. Now, what you'll notice straight away is tail scale is up, but what we need to do now is get that API key to install it in. Now the quickest and easiest way to do this is to restart the tail scale appliance. Go back in to the command line and enter this command here. It effectively switches it off and turns it back on again. And by doing so, it will generate this unique identity uh, for that device. And this is what we're going to need in order to connect this with our existing tail scale setup there. So I've got the login there. Next, we need to head into the machines area here and get ready to add our new device. All you have to do is open up a new tab, enter that login URL, it will open up, then sign in with your Tailscale account, go ahead, connect in like so, and once they're bridged together, it will start listing it on your list of available PCs. Next, we need to verify that it's available for access unadministrated. So if we do that and we click approve, that means that this local PC and this NAS can now communicate via Tailscale anytime we want. And there's our both of our devices listed there. If we don't want it to be unmonitored, then we just don't approve it as an instant connect device. And that's it. It's now up and running on our Ugreen NAS solution. If we go down here and we can see on my screen Tailscale, we go to our available network devices and there is both of them. It copies it into the clipboard and there is my new identity for my Ugreen NAS. I'm no longer accessing it on the local area network, I'm accessing it on its brand new remote access IP. After that's done, close the putty application there and if need be, go back in and disable SSH if you have absolutely no plans of using SSH for any other purpose. And remember, if you want to uh, restart or disable Tailscale, there'll be linked in the comments below. This is the command to put into SSH for turning it off and turning it back on. You can run each of those one by one, ignore the arrow. Now, until 
Ugreen install their own native Tauscal application, be it a full one-click install or a containerized one-click version like they did with Jellyfin, this is probably one of the best, easiest and smoothest ways to add this to your existing Tauscal, net Tauscal network of devices. Plus, within Tauscal, you can actually configure a lot of the identities, the naming, the key, the security and more of every single device on the fly. But apart from that, that is how to install Tau Scout and get it up and running on your U Green NAS within your Tau Scout network. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you did. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.